How's it going guys? Coach Jorge here and today we're going to go over five exercises to help you get started in your calisthenics, gymnastics and or just fitness journey in general. Alright, first exercise we're going to start off with is the push-up. No matter which route you take, you cannot avoid this exercise. It will bite you on the butt later. Okay, so we're going to come down to the floor. You'll set up making sure the shoulders are over the wrists, straightening out, squeeze the butt, keep the hips neutral. You're going to go down, look forward, chest to the floor. Pushing right back up, strong protraction. Head up. Try your best not to lead with the head. We don't want to do this. You're going to start to aggravate the neck. So head up at the bottom. Push up, strong protraction at the top. Second exercise we're going to go over is called the ring row. Now, not everybody has pull-ups, so the best thing to start with is ring rows. So you'll set up, feet in line with the rings. You're going to lean back, keep everything engaged. Press, pull right to the chest. Do not throw the hips. We don't need an excessive arch. We don't need you tossing the hips. Keep everything nice and tight and pull. To make it harder, simply step forward. To make it easier, simply step back. There you have it, that's your ring rope. Exercise number three, we're gonna go over the parallel bar dip. After you've mastered push-ups, you gotta progress it. Next progression would be mastering the dip. So we're gonna come to the dip bars, step up, everything nice and straight. Go as low as your shoulder mobility allows you to go. We don't want that half range dip and all the way back up. Full range, feel that stretch on the shoulders, the chest. Get all the way back up, nice and tall guys. Next exercise we're gonna cover is the pull up. Now there's a few different ways to start. You can start in the chin up and eventually you're gonna go to the pull up, all right? so. Chin up grip, you'll just be underhand, coming all the way down, full range, keeping everything engaged, pulling all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. When those start getting easy, you can simply flip the hands forward and progress from there. The last exercise we're going to cover is the squat. Now, although, you know, calisthenics is upper body dominant, you cannot neglect your lower body. It has a good transition to your upper body. All right, so my favorite thing, most traditional thing is the squat. Don't neglect it, don't avoid it. You want to work on just getting to that full range of motion. And up, squeeze all the way down, all the way up. Like I said, we don't want those half a reps. You want to maintain full range of motion for healthy hips, joints. Another variation you can practice is the dumbbell front squat. Once you feel pretty good, I love the front squat. It helps pull people deeper into the squat, especially if you feel like you're going to fall back. Your elbows in tight, same thing. Try not to let the elbows and knees make contact with each other. Keep the back nice and flat. Once you've mastered this, you can go pretty heavy. Another one of my favorites is the back squat. All right, so you'll get underneath that bar. Nice and tight. Separate the feet and get nice and low. Once again, all the way down, all the way up. Full range, no half range. If you have the mobility, use the mobility. Because as Coach Chris said, if you don't use it, you lose it. There you go. Those are your five exercises. Have fun with it and let me know what you think.